You're also aware that the media is equally critical in any democratic process. Used badly, it can be a divisive tool. Examples are many where the media has been deployed badly with grave consequences. We therefore urge members of the fourth estate, estate to exercise their freedom of the, press respons of, of the press responsibly. Reporting should not be skewed in any manner that can lead to polarization. So we are asking the media to be very, very nonpartisan. We are also aware about how the internet, for instance, and other digital spaces have expanded capacities and opportunities for communication. This has inadvertently also extended the capacities and possibilities for hate speech and other forms of intolerance. Our appeal is for Kenyans to use the power of technology to promote tolerance and spread messages of peace, cohesion, and national unity. As government, we take this opportunity to urge for calmness, sobriety, and civility in the way we carry ourselves, even as we exercise our constitutionally guaranteed civil rights uh, and civil and political rights. Let us not allow divisive politics and rhetoric to threaten our hard-fought economic and democratic gains. Elections come and go, but our country shall rem always remain. Let us protect it for the next generation. Let us also remind ourselves that peace and, and stability of our motherland, Kenya, is a responsibility bestowed upon us, upon the shoulders of each and every one of us, with the overarching motivation being to control what we can before trying to control what we cannot.